I'm in my bed for this video, so you guys better like it. We are back for my art supplies part two today. So this part is gonna be the digital art section, and honestly, there's not much to talk about with digital art as far as it goes with me, but I will do my best to show you guys everything that I use and how you can use it too. This video is not sponsored. If I'm mentioning any products or any brands in this video, it is purely because I use them, not because they are sponsoring me. And another disclaimer, everything that I have, I have built up over a long period of time because I don't have money flying out of my pocket. So for digital art, everybody knows you have to have a tablet or iPad or drawing software of some form, something you can actually do the work on and put your strokes down on. I have an iPad Pro. I believe this is the 10 and a half inch one and you can see I use it a lot. It's just like covered in fingerprints and grime and I really need to clean it. With my iPad Pro, of course, I have a stylus and in this case, it's just the Apple Pencil. Now, I've had both of these items for about maybe two years now, I think and uh, I bought them both myself. They both pretty much work in the same condition now as they did when I first got them. All I've done for a protective case on this thing is basically just a basic clear case and I stuck Danica Sills stickers all over it. Please go follow her, she's an awesome artist. Now, an iPad does not come with any sort of drawing software already on it. There are free apps that you can get that are made for the iPad, but generally you're better off with paid apps like Procreate. Now, in my iPad, I have downloaded a fair amount of drawing softwares and editing softwares and such, and I have them all in this one little folder right here where I can just click on it and find what I need. So right here is all my basic stuff. I have animation, Adobe Draw, GarageBand, PicMonkey, Canva, Talking Photos, Metabang Paint, Procreate, Flip a Clip, and Instagram's Layout app. When I first started drawing, I used easy to use software like Adobe Draw, and then I moved on to Medibang Paint, and then I saved up a couple dollars here and there and purchased Procreate, which is probably one of the best investments that I made as an artist. It has a lot more assets and a lot more things that are helpful if you are a digital artist that is just starting or has been in the business for a while. PicMonkey and Canva are both just photo editing software. They can help you bring out the colors and style in your digital works if you need a little extra kick. GarageBand I don't really use unless I'm really thirsting for royalty free music in which I just make a couple of different songs and throw on YouTube videos. Talking photos is really just for fun. Instagram's layout app is if I'm posting multiple drawings in one Instagram post and I want to be able to advertise them all on the front page of the post so that everybody can see immediately what individual drawings they will be looking at or if there's a compilation of drawings that I have done that all go together. Animation and flip a clip are both little animating software. I'm not completely familiar with either one of them and I just fool around with animation really. I don't do much of it regularly. From what I can tell they both work pretty well. Here is Procreate on the inside. Up at the top you can see we have gallery options. There are different filters you can use. You can select a tool and you can move things around. Over here is your brush size. This is the color selector which if you hold down lets you pick a color to work with, like so. You can click with two fingers to undo. This is your opacity meter, so you can make your opacity lighter. And then, of course, we have the two manual undo and redo buttons. Up at the top is your brush selector tool. They have a wide range of brushes. It's, I've never gone without a brush. If you need extra brushes, you can download them as well. This is the smudging tool. You can basically smudge things with your finger. I can make my brush bigger to show you. This is the erasing tool, layers, and your color selector, which has several different layouts of how you would like to select color. Finger controls are fairly simple. You can just click with two fingers to undo and three fingers to redo. As far as Procreate goes, if you'd like to know more about it, definitely go check out a more detailed video where people can tell you about it and explain it to you and teach you how to use it because I'm not a pro at it yet, I'm still learning, 
and there are plenty of things out there that uh, people can teach you that I don't know about. As far as video editing software goes, with my digital art videos, I literally just slap them on into iMovie. Hello? Anyway, I just throw it into iMovie and uh, Procreate has an option where you can export the digital time lapse of whatever it is that you just drew. It automatically records it and you can also switch off if you don't want it to record your time lapse drawing. I just speed it up or slow it down to my liking, throw it in iMovie, and then directly on YouTube I add music, subtitles, anything else that I want to add on to there. I'm really one of the least picky people when it comes to like recording softwares, editing softwares, anything. I don't care as long as it gets the video out on the internet and it looks alright. I generally export things as PNG or JPEG, it doesn't bother me, I don't care about the quality as much because generally it stays pretty good with Procreate, whatever quality you use, what, however you save it. Now a downside of using an iPad or any other Apple product is that after a few years they will start having storage issues. No matter how many photos, videos, drawings, notes, emails, anything you delete, it will still say that your storage is full and that you need to upgrade. That is happening to me a little bit. So far, I haven't really hit the brick wall. My iPad is a 64 gigabyte storage and I have only used 27.3 gigabytes of storage so far and it's already telling me that I need to upgrade my storage. But it's still worth it to me. Um, it's a pretty cheap alternative to buying like a Wacom huge, Cintiq or something like that that you can't tote around, you can't take anywhere, so it's an easy on-the-go option and uh, works pretty good if you can avoid the storage issues. And another thing that I will add is that with Procreate, when you are looking at the time lapses that it records, it doesn't really show you zooming in on the drawing or zooming out or selecting new colors or anything. It's literally just the canvas and it shows your progress as you go. It doesn't record any of the surrounding things. I would like to find a software other than just like plain old screen record because I don't like the screen record that records your motions, your hand movements, all of the things that are happening while you're drawing because I find that more professional whenever I'm watching other YouTubers draw, but that's just a personal preference. Now obviously there are cheaper alternatives out there. There are little bitty Wacom tablets that you can use that don't have a screen on them that just record your pen and that you can use with a computer. You do not have to go for a $600 iPad Pro. That's just the best option that I've found and I wanted to pay a little more for a better alternative. The internet really has no bounds. I mean, I've seen people create Monet-like paintings on Microsoft Paint, for crying out loud. So if you see something that works for you that's cheap, that's free, that's already with your computer, go for it. Also, before I close, I wanted to mention that you can now find me on Redbubble. I will link it in the description below. You can buy some of my fan art and my digital art originals down below on Redbubble. I sell them in iPad covers, iPhone covers, t-shirts, mugs, glasses, anything you can think of pretty much is on my Redbubble. One downside to Redbubble is I'm not allowed to price my own objects. I can decide what I want to take away from the price, but I... The prices aren't up to me, but if you guys really want to pay me some love and respect, just go ahead and grab some of my stuff on Redbubble and tag me if you decide to buy something and you receive it and it looks good because I will shout you out and I would love to see how the products look in real life. And if you cannot buy one of my products, please feel free to shout me out, share my page with the internet because I would like it to get out there so that people can see the work that I'm doing and buy it if they would like it. Having said that, that is it for this video and I will be back later in the week with another digital art video. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more like it, please make sure to comment, subscribe, like, and share with your friends and family. Your support really means a lot to me and it helps me get out to the public more. And here are a few of my products available on Redbubble. Thank you all so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next week.